Okay, good evening. Good evening, happy Hanukkah. This message brought to you by Exfoli Edge. Uh, today's oils, we're talking about oils for shingles. If you know anybody with that, please let them know that Young Living recommends Australian Blue, Ravenstar, Melaleuca, Eucalyptus, Blue Cypress, Bergamot, Geranium, Lavender, Lemon, Roman Chamomile. And our lemon's only $15, okay? For the bigger 15 milliliter bottle. It's like $1 a milliliter. Okay, uh, since it is the second night of Hanukkah, I thought we'd review some <clears throat> number two stuff that's in the math section. Lots of twos in the Bible. But here's some of them. Ezekiel 41, 23, the temple and the sanctuary had two doors. Uh, two by two, the unclean animals went into the ark. Uh, Daniel 8, 6, there was two horns standing before the river. Two lions, that's in there twice. One Kings 10, 19 and two Chronicles 9, 18. <clears throat> Luke 8, Luke 10, 1, the Lord appointed 70 people, sent them two by two. Ezekiel 21, 19, son of man, appoint two ways that the sword of the king of Babylon may come. Uh, Genesis 7, 15, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Uh, 2 Kings 25, two courts of the house of the Lord. Uh, they gave somebody a two chains of garments. That's in 2 Kings 5, 22. So Exodus 16, 29. On the Sabbath day, he wanted them to rest. Therefore, on the sixth day, which is the day man was made, he gave them the bread of two days. Exodus 16, 29. Exodus 31, 18, two tables of testimony that Moses came down with from Sinai. Two Chronicles 5, 10, nothing in the ark except two tables that Moses put therein. Hebrews 6, 18, it was two immutable things. Revelation 11, two witnesses. Genesis 1, 16, God made two great lights, the greater to rule the day, the lesser light to rule the night. Two horns like a lamb, that's Revelation 13, 11. Uh, Revelation 11, two olive trees that have power to shut the heaven. Uh, if you read that, you're going to find out those two olive trees were actually four things. Uh, Levi 14, 49, two birds to clean the house. Testimony of two men is true, John 8, 17. Uh, two lambs for a continual burnt offering, that's Numbers 26, 3. Two olive trees, that's actually in there three times, Zechariah 4, 3 and 4, 11. And again, 11, 4. Two side posts. That's in there three times, uh, especially through the Passover, Exodus 12, 23, the Lord will pass through and smite the Egyptians, but when he sees the blood on the lintel and the two side posts, the Lord will pass over. Two tables, that's in there 17 times, two tables of testimonies in there twice, two lambs five times, uh, two lambs continually, again, that's Exodus 29, 38, uh, Exodus 28, 9, thou shalt take two onyx stones and engrave on them the names of the children. Zechariah 4, 14, two anointed ones that stand by the Lord. Two candlesticks, Revelation 11, 4. Two cherubims, that's in there six times. Two pillars, five times. Two tables, 17 times. 
Uh, Book of Mormon talks about two stones which they fastened into some sort of a rim of the bow for glasses and they were reading, translating some papers or plates or something. Okay. And the Constitution stuff is Article 4 guarantees a Republican form of government and protects from domestic violence. Okay, not a PFA. Uh, Article 4 protects against domestic violence. The United States shall guarantee to every state in the Union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion and on application of the legislature or the executive, when the legislature cannot be convened, against domestic violence. That was Article 4, uh, Section 4. Article 4, Section 1 says full faith and credit given each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every other state. Article 4, Section 2, citizens of each state shall be entitled to all privileges and immunities of citizens in the several states. Section 3, new states may be admitted by Congress into the Union, but no new state shall be formed or erected within the jurisdiction of any other state. Uh, this <clears throat> page also has birthright information on there, um, where birth, birthright citizenships, immigrants that go through the immigration process become naturalized citizens. Um, we know that Jacob has Esau's birthright, and Esau was very upset about that. He was despised his birthright. That was Genesis 25, 34. Uh, Esau sold his birthright. <laughs> great. For a piece of meat. Yay! And Jacob has it. So, that's great. So, happy Hanukkah, and again, if you have any conditions, it can't, it's not just physical. You know, sadness, loneliness, whatever you have, whatever the problem is, we have oils <laughs> that are recommended. So please uh, comment, like, share, and thanks for coming.